hi guys welcome to another video this is actually an unboxing video so if you are a new nail tech and you just want to start practicing on how to do nails and you are on a tight budget i would advise you get this mannequin um it's just around two five to three thousand sha anyways today i'll be teaching you how to prep this mannequin to make it easier to work with like apply your tips on and then work with it we'll be needing clear acrylic an acrylic brush a dappling dish um acrylic liquid if you need to know products that you have to buy when you want to start learning how to do nails on your own i have a video on that and i'm going to link it on the description box so you can go there and check it out okay anyways those are the things i showed you on this video some of the things that you are going to need to prep your mannequin first of all you'll be using your file to um roughing up the surface of the mannequin's nail bed when you buy it you actually see that it's actually very smooth so you need to roughen it up so the acrylic can stick to it actually what we'll be doing here is to create a is it an artificial yes an artificial nail bed for this mannequin so it will be easy to apply our tips before we work on the mannequin first of all we need to clean our brush properly and then let's get right into it dip your brush into the liquid and then take a little bit of powder because you want to work one step at a time gently okay then clean your brush on your servette paper. This is not servette, paper towel. Yes, because servette is not as like thick as paper towel. So you need paper towel. Please, not tissue. Paper towel, like that tissue, but the bigger one. That one is like harder. So you just be applying your acrylic on the nail bed. Here, we're just trying to form. A, a an artificial nail bed um, it's been a while i did any voiceover <laughs> anyways this is me trying to form an artificial nail bed just um okay i'm going to tell you this if you feel like the acrylic is too much like the acrylic you put on the nail bed is too much allow it to dry and then file it down i didn't do that here because i've actually done this lots of times even for my students so i'm actually used to it and i know the amount of acrylic to apply but if you are a new student or you are just learning or you, you are trying to do this for the first time you might actually put too much acrylic on it so don't worry about it just calm down when it has dried you file off the excess one okay please make sure you dip your brush inside your liquid you then you dip you drain off one side then use the other side not the side you drain though the other side to pick up an acrylic and then apply it before putting it back into your monoma please clean the brush on the servette it is very important to clean the brush on the servette if not you might end up having too much acrylic inside your brush and then to make your work harder and to make the you might end up spoiling the brush also so please just do this gently take your time okay don't forget that while the acrylic is still like soft or wet you can actually clean the sides look at the sides of the mannequin clean it and then wipe it off on the paper towel so we are going to be repeating this process for all the fingers please watch closely okay if you have any questions feel free to ask me all right if you've been able to do your own you can send me a picture on my instagram or my facebook anyone i'm going to drop them down so you know the ones to send to okay if you have any questions ask in the comments feel free to ask i'm going to answer i might take a while or i might not answer immediately don't get angry or anything i'll get to you as soon as i can okay all right Still on the process of filling your acrylic if you can see on this video i was wiping my brush on one particular spot please that is very wrong it was because i was filming 
and i was trying to make sure i got like i was showing you the process properly and also trying to do it very well so i kept wiping on the same spot it actually made my brush clog i actually clogged my brush because i had to be wiping it on the acrylic i had already wiped off so please make sure you wipe your brush on different parts of your paper towel okay all right i'll let you concentrate and watch why um how i do it now Please don't forget to take little at a time, okay? Little at a time. Don't be in a hurry. And room wasn't built in a day. Small, small, just a drum. Small, 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 small. Take small, small acrylic. You don't need to rush. Anywhere you see, say maybe if you like say you know fill them well, you take more acrylic and then you fill there up, okay? Don't you don't have to. I know you will see other nail tech. So many people. And other tutorials, people take big beads, big acrylic beads. You don't have to do that. Those people have been practicing, they've been working, they've been working on people. So to know if your acrylic is dry, tap on it. Tap on it when you hear a clicking sound, like the acrylic is going to make this clicking sound. You know your acrylic is dry already. Thanks for watching.